Inflation in America is certainly one of the biggest concerns that our country has to face today. It's also a concern that long-term investors like me have to face as well. So in this month's portfolio update, we'll be going over my reasoning for how I'm going to beat inflation and my buys and dividends received this month. The goal of my portfolio is to invest in high-quality companies that consistently pay out and grow their dividends. Currently, I'm just going to reinvest the dividends, but later on I want to use them to pay for my expenses and life experiences. I upload every Friday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, and make sure to stay around at the end of the video so you can get an update on the channel. With that out of the way, sit back, relax, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more valuable content like this, and let's get started. Hello, I like money! First off, we'll compare August's portfolio to July's. So in August, our dividend income was about $238. If um, you didn't watch the last portfolio update, I basically sold out of a position right before I took that screenshot. So I was at $230. We improved our dividend income every year by $7, which is cool, considering we didn't have much cash to invest. 28 out of our 31 current investments pay dividends. Our monthly income went up $1.12 on average. And our portfolio yield has improved from 2.65 to 2.68. Um, which is actually pretty good considering that my portfolio value has gone up a ton because of the rich market value. Overall, I'm happy with how much we invested this month considering we didn't have much capital to invest with um, just because of personal reasons. This will hopefully change in November when I get my first job. Now let's go over the top 5 positions in portfolio weight. First off, we have Apple and I'm making $5.28. Second, we have Microsoft, and I'm making $4.48 from dividends from them every year. Third, we have Coca-Cola Company, uh, and I'm making $16.80 from them. Fourth, we have J&J &J with $12.72. And fifth, but not least, definitely, we have AbbVie, which I'm making $20.80 per year off of them. Now let's go over all my buys this month. To start off, I started a new position, and I bought one share of Vici at $30.16. Then I bought two shares of the Coca-Cola company at $56.17. I then proceeded to buy one share of AbbVie at $116.59 and one share of Stag at $41.49. At last, I bought another share of Vici at $30.16. As I said, we didn't have as much capital this month to buy with, so I decided to trim my position in AT&T and I sold four shares at $112.30. I did this because I felt like AT&T was a little overweight in my portfolio. And of course, I didn't lose any really money on the shares because I got the dividend income, so I got about $12 in net profits. Next, we'll go over my dividends received, and then I'll tell you guys how I'm going to beat inflation. To start off, AT&T paid me $10.72, then Apple paid $1.32, Realty Income paid $1.19, Hasbro paid $2.07, Colgate paid $1.35, Stag paid $0.12, cents. AbbVie paid $3.93, and lastly, Starbucks paid $1.83. Now, on to the main topic of the video, how I'm going to beat inflation. Now, if you guys didn't know, real estate actually does better with inflation. With this in mind, I do want to create a hedge against inflation in my portfolio. So that's why I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into my REIT positions. So every month, I'll be buying one share of Vici and one share of Stag. And I'll also be optimizing the price and buying whenever these stocks dip. I'll also be adding in my realty income position whenever the price dips for that too. But since O is a little more expensive and my brokerage doesn't offer fractional trading, I'll just have to stick with the cheaper options, but they still have the same amount of qualities, O in my opinion. Now here's a clip of Warren Buffett explaining how he thinks the best way to beat inflation is. The best alternative amongst other alternatives as a hedge against inflation. But given the fact that we're dealing with fairly high levels of inflation in India, what would your advice be to people who are investing? What should they change? What should they do? Yeah, well, inflation, Kane said it many years ago that it, it, it's an invisible tax that only one man in a million really understands. And it's a tax on people that have had faith in their currency uh, that the government's issued. Uh, the best protection. The best investment against inflation is to improve your own earning power, you know, your own talents. Very few people maximize their talents. And if you, if you increase your talents, they can't tax it while you're doing it. They, 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 you know, they can't take it away from you. So if you, if you become more useful 
in your activities, your profession, you know, doctor, lawyer, whatever it may be, uh, that is the best protection against a currency that might decline at a rapid rate. And, and uh, uh, the best investment, passive investment, I, I think, is, is, is a good business. I also think stores that society relies on are going to do much better with inflation. Stock sound like Kroger and Target, I'll definitely be looking to add to as well. Now I'll explain all three positions I have in REITs and explain why I hold them and what makes them special. First, we'll start off with the new bull, Vici. A lot of YouTubers, including myself, have been very bullish on this stock. So basically, if you guys didn't know, I do want to own a house in Vegas one day and move out there full time. Vici owns a huge chunk of the strip in Las Vegas, so I'm basically betting on Vegas, and I think Vegas is one of the upcoming towns in America that, you, that people are going to want to live in. With Stag, I'm pretty bullish on e-commerce, and I'm really happy with their diversity in tenants. I think that stock is going to have a lot of growth potential in the future for my REIT section. Lastly, Realty Income, I'd argue they're the safest REIT that I own, and I think that they're going to be paying out the safest dividend and grow at the safest as well. That's it for the portfolio update, but stay around for the update on the channel. So if you guys didn't know, um, school for me is going to be starting back on September 8th, which means, um, you know, I'll have a lot more stuff to do. But don't worry, I'll still be uploading every Friday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. I'm going to start waking up earlier and actually getting into a much better and a healthier routine. I'm going to actually put more effort into school too. And if I see a bad dip in grades, I'm unfortunately going to have to, you know, skip a week for YouTube. So let's cross our fingers that doesn't happen, and make sure to join the Discord link in bio. I'm going to post updates there. I also have, there. we have a really good community. I want to thank everybody that's joined recently, actually. And lastly, I do turn 16 in November, and I have a really cool project um, that we're going to do for my birthday that is stock-related. I am also going to be a getting a job, as I said, you know, the I, I my capital, you know, the lawn mowing has not been great recently because, you know, grass hasn't been growing here. Um, it hasn't been really raining. So, um, once in November, I'm, we'll see. I'm going to still upload every Friday, but, you know, we'll see how my hours are at work. So that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. It really means a lot to me. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications. Make sure to smash the like button for the almighty YouTube algorithm. I'm Ryan. Make sure to join the Discord in the description and have a good day.